Morning, Allie. Morning. Today is uh, June 29th, I believe, or 30th. 28th. 28th. It's day six of our hike. That means six days without a shower. It may not seem a lot, like a lot to some people. It's a lot. Um, our feet are permanently nasty. It's actually permanently cold here in Vermont. You have some spells of warmth. But most of the time, it's wet, it's raining, it's overcast. It's one of those. It's rare that it is sunny. And even when it is, you don't really feel it because you're under the cover of trees. A lot of people refer to hiking in Vermont and the Appalachian Trail as being in the green tunnel. And we're learning firsthand why. Um, not to say that hiking sucks. It has ups and downs, it's just difficult to manage. This morning we get the joy of uh, putting on wet shoes, muddy shoes, in the cold. Our shelter is at 3,000 feet elevation, that's our fault. Um, our socks are soaking wet, we do have one clean pair, we're choosing not to wear them. Look at these socks, they're soaking wet and muddy and so cold, but I want to put them on. Uh, we're wearing our sleeping jackets, which they look like a winter jacket, but it's actually enough insulation for most summer, fall, and spring hiking. Um, and even putting on a, a wet knee brace, which these are great for helping some of the shock, the ups and downs. Um, that's an awful thing. But the good thing about being on day six is this is the hardest part of our hike. And we only have two days left before we have a rest day and a re uh, resupply. And our backpacks are quite light. So with water, two liters, and the remaining food and trash, my pack is probably around 16 pounds. Mm, 18 pounds. 19 pounds actually. And Allie's pack is probably right around 12. So we're gonna go clean some water from the <coughs> low running brook behind the shelter. And then we're gonna start our hike. We're hoping to make it over over Mansfield and get to Puffer Shelter. It's a 19 mile day. We may only be able to make it to Taylor Shelter, which doesn't sound that great because it does not have water to clean. And it's off the beaten path. Or we might go short distance and uh, just make it to Butler Lodge, which is not really a lodge, it's a shelter. But we'll see. Great morning so far. Um, we had a lot of strenuous hiking earlier. Um, strenuous meaning just a lot of really, yeah, treacherous, really hard on the muscles, just going up, pulling yourself up by tree roots. But um, we've made it to Stratton Pond. We just passed Stratton Pond Shelter. Looks like a pretty nice shelter. It was built in 2005. It's one of the newer ones, I think. And uh, it'd be a great place to stay. We also read that it fills up quickly 
because it's so close to the road and the view, so we're good for the people of Vermont as the opposed first, to just through hikers. First flat hiking for a while. For a little bit, yeah, for a little bit we have some All flat. Morning. It looks like it's going to go right back up, but we can go through this. See ya. Oh, I can't see you. Okay. Morning. Hey, how are you? So much of a view? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, kind of. Was <laughs> you guys uh, through hiking? So that ended up being our last day um, on the long trail. It ended up uh, thunderstorming really bad and we were told by other hikers not to attempt. So we had hiked down Mount Madonna and ended up in a parking lot in Smuggler's Notch and we were told that we shouldn't attempt Mount Mansfield because it was very treacherous. So it was still midday. Um, but there was no, we couldn't go any further unless we were going to attempt Mount Mansfield in the thunderstorm. So we called a cab, Snowflake Cab Company, I think. And um, the woman who picked us up was so nice. And we had a great conversation with her. And um, she gave us a ride to our bed and breakfast, the Richmond Inn um, in Richmond, Vermont. Um, it's actually been sold since we stayed there. So there's new owners. But um, so... We got a ride there, um, and he allowed us to to do to stay early, and then it rained, and it was it was thunderstorms for the foreseeable next few days, and the rain wasn't letting up, and um, we decided to uh, that we would not be able to finish the trail in the time that we had because we were we had plans to be in Utah. Um, and so we decided to, uh, cut this hike short, go hike in, um, the Great Lakes area and attempt the long trail again next summer when we have more time. But it was, um, a wicked challenge, most challenging hike I think we've ever done. Um, but it was very rewarding. Right, babe? You agree? Totally agree. Fun. We can't wait to do it again, but it was it was hard. It was like a learning experience because we had never really hiked like that before. We were very beat up <laughs> so. and sore and scratched up and bug bitten. It was 
it, it was hard. Fun. But we enjoyed our time in Richmond, Vermont, and we ate and um, rested. And it was, it was a Hold good on, time. 21 mile day too? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> We're at the Richmond Victorian Inn bed and breakfast right now. And um, Bud is doing our laundry in the sink. How's our laundry, Bud? Not good. It's really gross, though, right? Yeah, first.